Hello, are you from the Gambia? Or maybe another part of Africa? This video is made specially for you. Here I share tips that have enabled me on high achievements nationally, internationally, get a top class education in the USA on a 100% scholarship and start in my own entrepreneurial venture. Some of these lessons I learned by trial and error and wish someone would have told me earlier in my journey. So you, knowing them now, will help put you on a much better learning curve. Aside my achievements and establishments thus far, the reason why you actually need to listen attentively and get to implement these is because I have walked the same path that you are on, in the same environment and I have gone through both rough and smooth rides. When you get to learn the lessons in this video, I don't want you to get fired up for a day or two and forget about them. No. You owe yourself the responsibility to actually get to implement these lessons. So I ask you, are you ready for this responsibility? If you are, I give you three seconds to give a thumbs up sign to this video as a sign of your readiness. Starting now. Mind reset. Who you are, where you are, who you know, what you are, should not limit you. Do not put limitations on your path. Do not be your greatest enemy. You are what you think you are. This is the first thing that you have to make sure is right. What you think, what you believe about yourself. Know that you can win anything that you set your mind to. So, program your mind, reprogram your mind, reset your mind to a success only option. Set priorities. There are so many things you can do at every point in time. Distractions are bombarding you front, back and center. This is the world we live in today. So the number one step in getting to set priorities and actually getting to follow them is be conscious that distractions are there to do just what they are called. Distract you from what you should be doing. Second step, and never underestimate the power of this step. It is one thing that I personally struggled with, which is write down the things that you want to achieve. Write them down, look at them over and over again. Remind yourself that this is what you ought to be doing. After you have gained clarity as to what you want to do, follow them. Third step, execute. Execute whether you feel like it or not. Do not allow yourself at all to be driven by feelings. Be driven by purpose. And know that you need to do what you need to do to succeed. And because you are still watching this video, I know for sure you want to succeed. Build a stop doing list. If you sit for a minute and reflect, you will be amazed by the amount of things you get done each day. But how many of these are actually worth your time? This is one of those stages where you have to swallow the tough pill. What is it that I am doing that I need to stop doing, not reduce, not manage, but stop? Stop doing. Invest your time wisely. And here's a little trick that I use personally to determine if an activity has to stay or go in my life. And this is it. I ask myself a simple question. How will this move me closer to my goals? If an activity cannot simply show you how you're gonna get closer to your goal, exit out. Build a like-minded network. You are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. The people you spend most of your time with, more than you can ever imagine, influence the decisions you make on a daily basis and the direction you take overall in life. This doesn't in any way mean lose some friends or 
don't associate with certain people, but it means know how you do it. We have heard times without number, elders telling us, associate with good people. Let me tell you something else. Let me tell you something specific. To succeed in your journey, associate with highly positive people. Associate with people that can lift you up. Associate with people that have integrity and associate with people that are high-minded and want to achieve great things in life. Remember, on your way to the top, lift the people below you. Keep learning and gain new experiences. You're going to school. You do well in your subjects, you go for extra classes, you read your textbooks. Guess what? You are doing exactly what almost every other student is doing. You are meant for greatness. You are meant for greater things. The earlier you get into the habit of reading and learning things that are beyond the rims of the school curriculum, the earlier you get to realize what your passion is and figure out what you want to spend the rest of your life doing. Here is the second part to it. This is the most important lesson you will learn in this video. This is it. Get your hands dirty. Involve in real life practical situations of things that you were interested in. You are thinking about mechanical engineering? Go and volunteer your time at your neighboring mechanic shop. You're interested in fashion and designing? Go and give your time to a neighboring tailoring shop. Interested in business, trading, retail? Go and give your time to your neighboring store, supermarket or mini market. Never underestimate the power of this. Never look down on these duties. This is what you do when you're there. You learn you observe and you see ways that you can use or ways that you think are beneficial in what improving the circumstances or the situations in those industries. Great times to do this are during the summer period and during the weekends. This is something that you will thank yourself. 